Today I'm going to show you how great Windows XP is and how everybody should use it. No, I'm just kidding. No, uh, what I'm going to show you today is uh, how to uh, remove a password from a Windows login. Now, uh, so I got Windows XP going here and uh, there's a user, Bill Gates. We'll click on that and we'll try to access his, his password, you know, his account. Uh, no, that's not the right password. Try leaving it blank. No, his password isn't blank. Um, okay, so how can we get past this little log on screen here? Now we know we know just booting a live Linux CD, we have full access to any Windows hard drive since Windows doesn't allow full uh, hard drive encryption. You can encrypt certain folders, but not the full hard drive. So uh, anything that's not encrypted, you can access from a Linux live CD. But let's say you want to actually get into the Windows system to actually run a Windows application that uh, you may not have the the rights to uh, as a regular user or you just want to log in as somebody else so you can set up some stuff for them. Uh, let's say we're going to turn off our computer here. We'll click restart and it's shutting down. At reboot I'm going to hit whatever key it is for you to choose your your boot up selection. I'm going to hit C here for CD and here we are at uh, our Slacks boot uh, live CD. This is a live CD that we created in my last tutorial but any Linux uh, CD will uh, will work. Um, so I'm booting into this and uh, the nice thing about this uh, creating our own live CD as we did in the last tutorial with Slacks is that we have the tools that we needed already pre-installed. Otherwise if you're booting like Ubuntu or Linux Mint you're gonna have to install uh, just one application that we're gonna be using called CHNTWP so uh, change NT password I guess is what it stands for. So once this is done booting we're gonna get our uh, KDE desktop going here. We got our cursor going. Loading, loading, loading. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my system here. And I'm going to go to storage and media. Find my Windows hard drive, which is right here. Click on it. Make sure it's mounted. It's mounted under media uh, HDA1. So let's start up our terminal. I'm going to make this maximized. I'm going to settings. Going to make the font a little bit bigger so it's easier for you guys to see. I'll set it to 18. That should be good. Okay. So now we have to go to where the SAM file is uh, saved. The SAM file is the file that saves all the Windows users' names and passwords. So I'm going to CD to media. I'm sorry. It's probably under slacks. It's going to be under MNT. Depending on your distro, it might be under media. And we're going to do HDA1. I'm going to go to the Windows folder, system32 folder, and then the config folder under that. If we run list now, you'll see some files right here. We have our SAM file. Now, if we use change uh, ntpw, um, now you have to run this as root. I'm logging as root. If you're running another live distro, you might have to sudo or whatever you need to do to get root privileges. And I'm going to do dash L and I'm going to do SAM for the name of the SAM file. And here it gives a list of all users, administrator, Bill Gates another user, and then you'll see some other ones that are just in there by default. You can see that um, Bill Gates right now is not only, he, uh, he's administrator, um, he's got a password, it, it is disabled and locked. So let's edit his, uh, his information. So same thing, we're going to use this, but instead of L, we're going to use U. And then we have to use parentheses here because for some reason Bill Gates uh, made his name, uh, his username two words, which is something some people may do. You really shouldn't have your username be two words, but there we go. Parentheses will fix that problem. Now we're in here. Now we have a list of things we can do for this user. Uh, you can clear their password or edit their password. Now you can't see their password. This program doesn't allow you to see what their password is. Uh, we can edit it and basically put in our own password. Um, it says careful using this on XP and Vista. So it's actually just easier to instead of editing it, we're going to hit one. 
to clear out and just give them a blank password. We're going to hit yes to hive that and their password has been cleared. Uh, another thing we can do, we can run that same command, you, username, Sam. And another thing we can do, we can promote this user. Now he is already an administrator, but if he wasn't, we can do three. Going to hit yes, we want to promote him. Yes, let's hive this file. And he would now become an administrator. So if you already have rights to a machine, but as a regular user, you can make yourself administrator. Uh, another thing is if you wanted to enable or unlock this user, we'll go in and do that too. We'll just hit four, yes, and that's it. Now, all we have to do is we'll log out, we will restart the computer, and next time we go in, uh, we don't just don't put any username because we cleared it out. Uh, we just hit enter when we click on that user. I'm sorry, we don't put any password because we've cleared that out. We click on that user, click uh, the login button, and we should log in. Now, while we're rebooting here, I'd like to mention a few things, is that this isn't the only way to bypass passwords on a Windows machine. Um, but, uh, whoop, F12, one to boot from hard drive. Okay. Uh, and the main problem with using this is if you clear out the password or change the password, when they come back to log in, they're going to know something was up. They're going to, because it's not going to work for them. There are other ways you can see it because there was only one user other than an administrator actually logged straight into Bill Gates's account. So here we are. If it wasn't, if there were other users, you click on that user's name here, I'll show you. We will log off here, log off. So anyway, in future videos, I'm going to show you better ways to bypass passwords, but this is a great way to promote yourself to administrator, or if you just don't care and you're going to clear out your password, you can clear out your password. Click on that. See, it didn't even ask for the password now. So that's CHNTPW, allows you to promote users, clear out their password, change the password, although I would avoid doing that. I would clear it out, make them administrator, and then come in here and in Windows, change their password. It's just you're less likely to screw up the SAM file. If you screw that up, you're screwed. Um, and you can unlock uh, sessions. You could probably demote people too. I actually never had to do that, so I don't know, but I would think so. That program also allows you to completely edit the registry from within Linux, all command line, but it's much easier, and we might go over that in the future, much easier just to promote them to administrator, log in as them, and then edit registry using regedit. Um, but play around with that. Don't get yourself into trouble, you know, whatever. And, uh, so that's one way to bypass Windows passwords. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this.